Well, welcome to the channel, viewers. Thanks for coming in. Reverend Dr. J.W. Morrison, Theologist, Central Coast, New South Wales, Australia. Thanks for coming in. I appreciate it. Um, many of you have and are suffering in a breakup. And it may have come to, as a surprise to you, it may have not but you are in a situation that you didn't plan or possibly you saw coming. I don't know what your circumstances are, but the fact of the matter is you're in a situation that you possibly did not set out to end up in. What you've got to realize today is you're dealing against with and up against a lot of um, different psychologies and makeups and personalities of people that are so diverse even if you're a professional psychologist you can't work them all out you cannot work out all these psychologies and psychopathies and personality traits and whatnot that jump out at us today it's too hard they're too complex um, and in saying that if you don't know how to be aware of what happens, how they happen, um, uh, what the consequences of them are, how they can turn around to bite you, how they can bring you undone, how they can um, cripple who you are, change your attitude towards what love is and what it isn't um, if you can't read these things you can end up a casualty of such proportion you may never want to be bothered with anybody else again there's a culture out there now of supply it's called get your supply they're not naming it that, but that's what it is. It's narcissistic or I just think it's sinful, the sinful nature. The Bible describes it as the sinful nature at work in people. It's nothing new. It's just they're coming up with names for it now that people can identify with by experience. It's not a matter of whether these people are broken or not. You can make excuses for these people. You can make all sorts of ideologies for these people to try and justify how they end up where they are but at the end of the day it's just a situation where they haven't been able to navigate a relationship for one reason or another as soon as the mask slips off and it will it will slip off at some stage that's the fork in the road for you. And you will get these warning signs with these people. How are you? You will get these warning signs. I'll give you an example. Um, single mothers are a classic. They're always, always enmeshed with their children in some toxic way or another. Um, horrible toxicity that comes out of the single mother and the children, the way they're enmeshed, the surrogacy that they um, produce between each other. It's really quite sickening. Um, and for an example, you can meet some woman and she'll come out, she'll come out all on her own and all, you know, up for, I'm up for this. And then all of a sudden things are going all right and then all of a sudden there's a problem with the children. That is the mask slipping off. Right, listen. That's the mask slipping off. That's a warning sign. Or you're texting. Oh yeah, the, some of these women, I have to give them credit, they have got the potential to write books on poetry. And I'm not saying they're being disingenuous you can tell their emotions pouring into it but you say to yourself how long is this going to last for it's not very long and 
all of a sudden they're not even answering your texts. These people will use their work as an excuse, they'll use all sorts of other things as excuses, and there is a legitimacy for that. Um, if you organise certain times to text someone and they're just not answering your text and it's not just once or twice, but um, obviously there's something missing here. That's the mask slipping off. It's not about controlling people. It's not about wanting all their time. It's not about any of that. It's about how we navigate ourselves within a relationship to produce power. A lot of these people will come into your life to get um, their desires met, their sexual needs met, or some other need met through you, but they've got no intention of building anything powerful or substantial with you. They are using you to meet their desires. They're not building anything, and these people are everywhere. Go on the dating sites and find out. I don't recommend, and I never will again, anyone to go on a dating site. You're dealing with people that haven't been accountable, they haven't been responsible, they've got a trail of destruction behind them, they don't know how to look after themselves, let alone anybody else, they, um, they will lead you along, they'll bring in all their troubles, they know how to set up situations to bring an exit, situation for themselves and you know you might say well you're being you're being a little bit critical no no particularly these older women who thrive on lust and desire they've got no intention of putting themselves in a situation where they're going to produce anything positive. You can open your whole world up to these people. Thinking that, you know, you're going to produce something that's positive and powerful. That's going to bring love and life. And if you're not awake and aware that you're only being used, you're only being used as a convenience, then <laughs> you're going to get what you deserve and that is being used they call it narcissism and all this other stuff it's just part of this wicked evil age um, and an uh, one of the things that I've realized is some of these women are so unattached that they just come and visit eat drink have sex and you'll spend more time out in the open with the dog. I got my daughter's got a dog, and I'm, I'm weighing up how much time outside would I've spent with the dog up against how much time I would have spent with these women, one of these women in particular. And the dog won by by a laughing mile. The dog. Oh my goodness, that, that is so sad. That's where it's at. You have to be prepared to not miss the warning signs. These people will triangulate you, they'll set you up in situations where they try and emasculate you. That gives them an excuse to say that you're weak and all the rest of it, but really they're only, they're only bringing problems to themselves. You see, a lot of men haven't got their identity. They fall for the tits and the pussy and allow that to make critical decisions for them. They allow that to be the decisive factor in the relationship. And that's an injustice to themselves and the people that they're with because that's saying to these loose type women, that it's okay. But all it does, as the Bible says, is lead to ruin, lead to loss, and it's all temporal. 
and unless these people are stealing, they get with men that have got money and they steal their money, they really are going nowhere. They're just lost, empty souls that are enmeshed with lost, empty children that cause trouble. And there's a whole much better world out there. There's just a whole much better world out there. Hang on. Right, you can't weigh everybody up by these. You may have had three or four in a row. That's unfortunate, but that's how it can work. That's how it can work. Um, but not, every, not everybody's like that. You just have to work out when the mask comes off, and it will. They disappear. And these disappearing tricks are because there's other people. They've got orbiters, they've got um, other things that they want to give their attention to. They're used to being let down, so they become a let down. They don't trust anyone because they have been deceived and things. Do not go on the dating sites. They're just not going to bring any good to you. If you have met somebody that way, well, lucky you. But for the most part, for the majority, you're dealing with predators, people that haven't been responsible or accountable. They've got no intention of being responsible or accountable. And it's all just one big waste of time. These people are just looking for their op next opportunity to possibly have sex or get money or whatever their agenda is. It's been so bad for me that I've had women that have triangulated the situation so badly that you couldn't have even been bothered going to their house. Just the, the, the behavior was so bad. So, whatever your situation is, whatever position you're up to, whoever you're dealing with, whatever their attitude is, you have to stay on point, stay on path, and do not do not fall prey to the weaknesses and wickednesses of these people that just don't want to, and that's all there is to it, have a proper relationship. Don't be used by these predators. Call them for what they are. If you want to give them a chance like I have, give them a chance, but they will expose themselves, they will reveal themselves, and you have to get out. They're very well marked up. They know what they're doing. They use their children to exit situations that they become sick of or get tired of. No. Don't let it happen to you. I'm Reverend Dr. J.W. Morrison, Theologist, Central Coast, New South Wales, Australia. Bye for now.